You know what I don't understand? Banana peppers. I mean, who wants a banana flavored pepper? <laughs> oh, John. Did you see? Yeah. Mm. Oh. Uh. Ah. oh! Hey! Hey! Oh. Hey! Oh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Ow! Stop on coins. Oh. Ah. <laughs> wow, look at this! <laughs> We're gonna be rich. I know. And sore. Oh. oh, well, I guess we're all out of it. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Do it. You can do it. You. Is that your attention? Ah, hi everyone. I'm Brandon. And I'm John, and this is the so and so show. Brandon, you feeling nervous about doing today's show? Or? What? No. Oh. No, I, no, something else. Oh. No, oh, really? What, what, what could possibly make my dear, very capable, and steady friend Brandon so nervous that he thinks he can't do something? No. I said I can do it. Yeah, but if you really thought you could do it, then you wouldn't need to tell yourself that you can. Okay, fine. If you must know, I entered a video game competition, and oh. it takes place tomorrow, and I don't feel entirely ready for a it. A video game competition? That's, right. That's awesome. I guess. No, 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 it is. Really, you, you just need some extra practice so you can build up your confidence. Okay. And what better place to practice than right here, right now, in front of all of you? Uh, I'll help you, my friend. I'm really not sure how we're going to do... John? <laughs> hey, if you're gonna practice, Brandon, then you gotta practice with everything you've got. Well, in the competition, I'll just be using a controller with, with buttons. Yeah, you'll be put through a series of games to prepare you for whatever video game genre they throw your way. So let's begin. What's happening? Uh, it's a puzzle game. Sort the blocks into lines. Oh, oh. Oh, this is more like it. Whoa! Hey, there's a dog. What do I do? Give it treats. Okay. I did it! Uh-oh. It's the boss of the level. You have to defeat it. Oh, hey, you got this one, Brandon. All you have to do is race the other hot air balloons to the finish line. Okay, cool. I am ready. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I just need a little more fuel. Uh, ah! Brandon? Brandon? Story time with Kellen. Brandon. Brandon. Hey, friends. Hey, Kellen. Hey, Kellen. Oh, no. What's our story today, Kellen? Well, in today's story, the sky's the limit. Except, actually, it's not the limit. Yeah, you'll see what I mean. Our story really reaches for the stars. Did somebody say stars? Look no further, Kellen. I'm right here. Hit it, Greg. Glad you came. Glad you're here. I know it's getting late, but never fear. We'll give a blow by blow of the Bible story. On the Melv Solomon story recap. It's good to see you, Mel. Oh, you're too kind, Kellen, too kind. And here's my brother-in-law, Greg. Don't forget about Greg. 
Hey, just keep your hands on the ivories, Greg. <laughs> right. Well, I'm gonna get started with telling the Bible story now. Oh, uh, you got it. You do the talking, we'll do the musical summarizing and styling. <laughs> hands. Right. So, just a little recap before our story. Remember that Jesus died on the cross in order to save the world. His disciples were completely heartbroken. They thought all hope was lost. But then, Jesus rose up from the dead. He came back to life, defeating death completely. He appeared to many of his followers and friends over the course of the next 40 days. Oh, that must have been a great 40 days to feel alive like that. You know the song I'm thinking, right, Greg? Greg? Greg! Saute your chicken! Yeah, <laughs> you stayed up too late watching cooking shows again, didn't you, pal? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Hit it! No, the... Yeah. yeah. I feel alive. I feel alive. Wind in my hair, sun on my face. I feel alive. Blood in my veins, air in my lungs. Saliva coming from my glands into my mouth, helping me to digest food. Back to you, Kellen. One day, Jesus' closest followers went to a mountain in Galilee where Jesus had told them to. When they saw Jesus, they worshiped him. But some of them still had their doubts. Then Jesus came to them and he said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. So you must go make disciples of all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Teach them to obey everything I have commanded you, and you can be sure that I am always with you to the very end. Now that's quite the assignment. I've been given some pretty big assignments here and there too, you know. Greg. Greg! My belly's empty, yeah. Oh, you can eat later. Okay. Play the tune. Homework. Teacher gave me homework. Can't give up, it won't work. Gotta get it done. There's reading, plus there's math and science. Scarier than giants. It is not much fun. Still, it's easier than cleaning my cat's hair off the couch and the carpet. Hmm. What Jesus told his followers to do was a lot bigger than that. He told all his disciples to teach all nations about him. And it was a good thing Jesus promised to always be with him. Another day, Jesus was eating with his friends and said, Do not leave Jerusalem. Wait for the gift my father promised. You have heard me talk about it. John baptized with water. But in a few days, you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. So the disciples had to wait for this gift, huh? <laughs> I know a thing or two about waiting. Go! Where's the music, Greg? Aren't you feeling inspired? Greg! You can't keep falling asleep like this. We got songs to sing. <laughs> Greg! Wait for breakfast! The piano, that's what. <laughs> no, 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 Greg. I don't want you to eat it. I want you to play it. Oh. Let the music feed your soul. Yummy. That's the stuff. Waiting. Waiting is no fun when you know something good's about to come. Like for Christmas, your birthday, or any time a present's due, you have to wait till the gift is given to you. Or else it'd be stealing. Right. Now, here's where our story reaches new heights. After Jesus said all those things to his disciples, he was taken up into heaven. 
His friends watched him until a cloud hid him from their sights. Straight up to heaven, huh? <laughs> you hear that, Greg? Greg, where'd you go? Did you ascend too? While Jesus was going up, two men dressed in white appeared to his followers. They said, men of Galilee, why do you stand here looking at the sky? Jesus has been taken away from you into heaven, but he will come back in the same way you saw him go. Now, wait a minute. Jesus really left? Oh, oh, Kellen, that is not right. You, you said he promised to always be with them. He did, but he didn't say how he'd be with them. The disciples may have thought that it would have been the same way it had always been, but God often does things differently than we expect. Remember how Jesus promised the Holy Spirit would come? Yeah. Well, that's a way Jesus can be with us all the time, through the Holy Spirit. And it's a good thing too, because in order to do what Jesus told us to do, we need to have him with us giving us his love for people and helping us be brave and wise and kind as we teach people about him. Oh, yes, I like the sound of that. Just like I like the sound of my own singing. One more song for the crowd, don't you think, Greg? I eat music for breakfast. That's right. Now eat up. Okay. When Jesus came back to life, he was with his friends both day and night. He told them to spread the good news to everyone in the world. Then he rose up in the sky, past the clouds and out of sight. But don't you worry, don't you fret, we're not alone. We've got the Holy Spirit! I think that wraps it up for us, Kellen. Say goodbye, Greg. No! We gotta feed you before these things. Thank you, Melvin, Greg. Appreciate y'all. What'd you think, fellas? Man, that guy can sing. That's amazing, Jesus went straight up into the sky. Pretty awesome, huh? And the fact that he sent the Holy Spirit to be with us? Oh yeah, seriously, because you know all those things he told us to do, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them and teaching them everything, that, that's a lot to try to do on our own. Yeah, I'm not even sure what all that means, to be honest. It means we tell people about Jesus with our words, and with how we live our lives, especially our actions. The way we treat people can be one of the best ways for people to experience Jesus and his love. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Thanks, Kellen. Absolutely. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, Kellen. So, loving people is a big part of what Jesus told his followers to do. Yeah, because when we share God's love with others and they experience what Jesus is like, they may want to know more and follow him too. That's a pretty big deal. Mm -hmm. So... Reveal the question! <laughs> oh, this is great. How can you share God's love? Mm -hmm. Being mm -hmm. kind to a friend or patient with a sibling even when you feel annoyed. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe it's sharing something you have with someone who has less than you. Mm -hmm. Or you can share God's love by helping someone practice for their upcoming video game competition. <laughs> uh, like you did for me, John. Was it helpful? Of course. Okay. It also gives me confidence to know that no matter what happens, God is always with me. Awesome. So, I guess that's all the time we have today. I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And this was the So-and-So Show. See ya. Do they wait back to us when we went? Yes. Oh, okay. Of course. See, there's Jonathan. Uh-huh. Start. Yeah. Jump. Jump. Okay, spin. Jump. Go forward. Okay, turn right. Turn right. Jump. Jump left. Forward. Stop. Okay, that's not working. Uh, okay, one more time. Forward. Stop. Okay, I think the controller is not matching up with you. Jump. <laughs> Robot. Robot. Okay, chicken dance.